Weiler make his first career start against the Chicago Cubs. He has pitched just one inning. That was in relief last year for the Dodgers, and he is trying to bounce back. He had his worst start of his major league career last time out against the Angels, but a lot of it wasn't his fault. He didn't have much support in the field defensively. Swing and a miss with a fastball away, and he rings up McKinstry. How about that sending it opposite over the head of Hernandez will take it on the hop going to be tight. No the throw drifts offline and Suzuki slides in with the one out double continues that good work hitting the ball hard the other way too. It's now like he's just punching it the other way he's driving the ball and he got him. perfect spot for that slider two down. Mitch White has been working on his slider going back to his days with the Dodgers. He has changed the grip a couple of different times. Right now he's gripping the slider the same way Blake Trinan does. Half a switch hitter batting from the left side against the right hander Mitch White. Hit hard and that one's going to get through Merrifield into right and a run will come in to score. They have scored first every game here Jim. Yeah they've been able to get the lead they just haven't been able to hold the lead uh -huh. that's been the issue lanky right hander Luke Farrell making his second start and third appearance for the Cubs this year fastball at 91 slider curve and change primarily fastballs and sliders he likes to get ahead and then climb the ladder with that high fastball corner at short one down his quest to catch Roger Maris skied in the former sky dome out number two here at the Rogers Center allow one run you think I deserve to win that one you go five and give up a run crap shoot Morell drives one to center George Springer going back and he's got the room two down Gomes able to tag and advance to third so big spot here two outs runners on the corners Runner goes from first and they're going to throw through and the Cubs are going to get a run out of this. As Rivas intentionally stopped between first and second. He never looks him back and Jan Gomes walks right in with the second run of the game and that's a big mistake. They are the Cubs to score a second run. McKinstry lines the ball into right center for a base hit and it gets past Springer and to the fence and McKinstry making the turn heading for third and in there with a triple. Well he just hit that ball so hard that Springer couldn't cut it off. He and Teoscar were trying to cut it off. Springer was shaded in the opposite direction over in left center. So here's Fran Mill Reyes. Now the infield has to come in and guard against another run. This one to Merrifield runner coming home the tag by Kirk and they got him. Reyes got it in play McKinstry burst down the line Merrifield with the infield drawn in through a strike to Alejandro Kirk to cut down McKinstry at the plate. So again another big spot second and third two down right now base hit probably scores a couple up the middle a base hit and this is going to score a couple of runs. Horner on his way to second and in there with a double. It is four to nothing for the Cubs. Another curveball that just kind of sits out over the outer half of the play. Four runs on six hits now for the Cubs. Popped up down the third baseline. Chapman a long run. Can't get there. It's beyond him and bounces between him and Guriel. Another run in to score, but then Ortega out trying to extend it into a double and three in the inning for the Cubs. Kevin Biggio getting the start at first base tonight for the Blue Jays. High fly ball hit well down the right field line and it is gone up into the second deck. This time of the year it's a gut check. Can you come back from deficits. Can you keep your place in the postseason picture. Two down here's Fran Mill Reyes. This is hit in the air deep right field Hernandez going back this may go it's gone. Friend Mill Reyes a home run the other way. I guess they forgot how he swung at that slider back in the first inning because they threw him a fastball and he's a big strong man as he just illustrated and hit that ball a long way to right field. And that's the end of the night for Mitch White. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is the batter but once again we understand he is using the Javi Baez bat that he used last night. Baez left one of his bats for Vladdy. Vladdy hit the homer so he is using it again. Down the right field line towards the corner 
And in there, fair. It'll skip up into the seats. That'll be a double for Guerrero. Braddy came into this game hitting over 300 in his last eight games. That's his fifth extra base hit in nine games. His 29th double of the season. First and second one out. Here's Kirk 0 for 2. And a drive to deep left field. Three run home run for Alejandro Kirk. And quite a drought for Kirky in the home run department. That's his first home run in over a month. But it's a big one. And that's a big swing of the bat on the first pitch. Top of the order for Zach McKinstry, who's one for three. And now he lines one into left for a base hit. Rounding third and heading home as Rivas. The throw is out in front of the plate as the run comes in to score. And Rivas could prove to be a very, very important run. Kirk takes it to right, and it'll be caught on the track by Suzuki. One down. Sharply hit, but right at McKinstry, the second baseman, two down. Good job by the crew watching that. Popped up. And the Blue Jays go in order. The Cubs seven and the Blue Jays five. As the Blue Jays try to find a way to pick up a win here tonight. Another come from behind a victory. This is Rowan Wick. As we mentioned from North Vancouver BC went to Carson Graham High School. And that is in there for strike three called and out number two. The Blue Jays are down to their final out. It'll be up to Rymel Tapia. And he missed. So Springer's going to come up as the potential tying run. It'll bring up George Springer, a tying run to the plate. And the 2 2 is popped up. In comes Morell from third, and he will make the catch. The Cubs take the final game of the series. Yeah, it's difficult to give up a game like this, but they didn't get much going with the match.